Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Ginny. I'm a social media and digital marketing expert and I help small businesses and content creators to be more visible online and to convert their followers into paid customers. So today's video is all going to be about Photoshop and how to use Photoshop for small business owners and content creators who don't want to have their creativity killed by Canva or just don't want to feel limited and want to be able to just transcribe what their vision is. So it's going to be a very simplified tutorial for Photoshop from scratch because I know sometimes Photoshop can feel very daunting overwhelming I've been there and I just want to show you that it can be really easy to use and you don't have to be a graphic designer to create amazing stuff on Photoshop okay so today we're just gonna try to create a very simple post and then you're gonna be able to play with text and backgrounds let's dive in right now okay so the first thing once you've downloaded Photoshop you're gonna open it and you're gonna have this dashboard it might be a bit overwhelming once again but simply just put create new and then you're gonna have another dashboard and just don't worry about any of these just focus on custom and on the right this is where you want to focus so you're gonna have to select the size of your document so if you're creating an Instagram post what I usually recommend is to have a 1080 by 1350 so that's just gonna take a little bit more of your screen than just a simple square and I just find it a little bit more eye-catching than just a little square and then just under you've got your resolution so you don't want to worry too much about this but usually you just have it at 72 so don't touch this usually you should put it right away at 72 so you don't want to touch this then you have like the color things don't touch it again just use the default settings and where you want to have a little play with is the background content so put it on white for now but I will do a part two of this uh, video and we'll have a look at how you can you know use transparent background to remove backgrounds and stuff like that and then simply press create so now you have your document and you're really into Photoshop software so this is where people will tend to give up very quickly because it can feel very overwhelming when you just open it. So the first thing you might want to do is simply zoom in and out so you just have a like a little better view of your document. You simply can do this with so command minus pretty sure so I'm on Mac but I'm pretty sure the settings are the same on PC if you're not sure just google it it's very simple to find so command minus is just going to help you to zoom out command plus to zoom in if you want to go into the details of something okay so I'm just going to explain you a little bit about Photoshop environment so on your left you have what is called the toolbar. So this is where you're gonna have, you know, all the tools you're gonna be able to use to create lots of different things, such as text or, you know, playing with the background. So if you wanna add, you know, like rectangles. Okay, so now another thing that's important is the layers. So on the right, don't worry too much about this and just focus on here. So you have different tab, but really only thing we're gonna be worried about is the layers. So for now, we just have one layer. That's how Photoshop works with layers. So I'm gonna explain you that a little bit better later. But for now, we just have one layer, which is the background and it's locked as you can see. So one thing that I really recommend is to have your brown colors, you know, somewhere in Photoshop. So I've got mine, I've got my brown colors or more like the colors that I can use in my post that I feel are going to stay in the kind of same vibe. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. So you can simply open something new on Photoshop. So just put file, open, and you just select, you know, what you want to open. So for example, that's my brand colors and I'm just gonna drag them on Photoshop. So now, as you can see at the top here, I can go back to my document here or I can go to my colors. So if I go back to my document, I completely forgot the first thing you should be doing is save your document. So the shortcut would be command shift S Pretty sure that's the same on PC, so just name your document. So, and then you just want to save it. You can save it under different formats. Uh, for now, just save it as a Photoshop document. So, just save it as a Photoshop document, press save, and we're good. And if you just want to keep saving it, you know, it's simply Palm S, you probably know that. So, the first thing we're gonna learn is how to change the color of that document, as simple as that. So this is where the toolbar is gonna come handy. Uh, so on the left, you'll see all the tools and all everything you can do with Photoshop. So now we're just gonna change the color, the background color of that document uh, for our Instagram post. So you probably wanna make it with your brand colors and that's really handy because now we have our brand colors that are here. What you can do, so if we go on our toolbar, you have at the bottom those two colors and, and they're very handy to just switch from one to the other. So just pick whatever, whatever color it is. You're probably gonna have black and white as a start. So you just click on one of those 
and then you can just select the color you want so for now i just want to you know just select one of the colors that i can choose for my post if you just go on the on the file you're gonna see that you're gonna have like a little color picker so you just you know put any color i kind of like you know this one for example and then just press okay so now you know see at the bottom left the color change the color you want so now we're going back to our document this is where the magic happens you're gonna choose your paint bucket tool so if you see like if you stay on the tool photoshop tells you what the tool is about and not even show you or explain you how to use it so it's very handy and also something very important it tells you which uh, shortcut it is so for example now we want to use the paint bucket tool so the shortcut for it is simply g so if i go here here on my document for now it's just a mouse so at the top left is this icon and if i want to change it and decide to you know to change my background color i just simply press g and now i've got that little bucket it's just gonna change it to the color that i selected so it's always a color at the top and i simply click and it changed my background color now if i want to go back to have my mouse you know i want to be able to do something else either you click here or you can see it says that the shortcut is v so for example now i'm just pressing v and i'm back to my normal mouse okay so that's cool now we have a you know a background so now we probably want to add some text uh, because you know if you want to do like a caption or something like that again going back to the toolbar and you've got that t here t stands for text so if i click on it i'm able you know first of all it tells you how to do it and i'm able to see you know how to use it again same if i go back to v to my mouse and then press t i've got the text uh, function okay so now there's two possibilities so if i start typing some text you see that it just never goes back to the line and that's absolutely normal uh so i can either you know do this and having to go back to the line you know like this every time which is a bit annoying but the first thing you want to notice now is your layers so if we go back to the right where our layers are you'll see that it created a layer and this is how Photoshop works. So it works in terms of layers. So every time you're going to add, you know, a text or a form or anything that you want to add, like even a picture or something, it's going to add, add a layer. And the layer are in order. So I'm going to explain you a little bit more about what it means. For now, we have our layer text. And you see, we'll just say layer one as a default. And then layer two, layer three, etc. And if you want to make, you know, if you're going to have a document that's got lots of different layers and stuff like that you might want to change the name of it so simply double click and just change it to um you know text one or whatever now if i want to go back to, you know i keep having this text tool so i just want to go back to my mouse you'll be able to move the text so you can either move it with a mouse like this or if you want just to change it a tiny little bit like a very fine detail you can just use your keyboard and your arrows on your keyboard and just put it down just gonna change a tiny little bit if you want to make a little bit bigger changes but not quite with a mouse you know just want to keep them in line you can use shift on your keyboard so shift keep shift and then use the um, arrows on your keyboard and it's just gonna make bigger movement okay so now my text looks uh, really bad obviously Obviously, so I just want to delete it okay so again so just click it and then simply press delete and it's just gonna remove that layer okay if you feel like you made a mistake and you don't want to delete it it's like everything else uh, on your computer is pum C. now the second way of creating a text so still press you know text and you can create some text box so at least you don't have to go back to the line every time so simply just drag it and you're gonna be able to create a box so obviously you want to you know keep it the way you want to and then you're just gonna so i'm just gonna keep that text for now just gonna press hello my name is jenny so you want to make the box a little bit smaller so it doesn't you know just take the space it needs and then just go back to your uh, move tool all right so now i've got my text and we're gonna start to play a little bit with that text so again press text again so if you want to um, just go back to your text you know you can press text click on your text and then now i want to be able to change the font the size the color and everything else you're gonna have to select all your text so comments a same for pc and it's just gonna select uh, all your text if you just want to select a bit you know just can select whatever you want with your mouse okay so now from a i'm selecting all the text and i'm gonna change the size so for now it's at 100 you can put it you know so if you click 
on the arrow going down, you can change the size of your text. You can just change the size like this as well. Okay, so now that's 80. So we keep in selected and now I'm gonna change the font to make it something a little bit more nice. I would really recommend choosing one or two fonts for your brands and just stick with them. So I don't know, I really like this font for example, even though you can't, can barely read anything, it's fine. I can change the color. So now if you wanna change the color, so just look at this. And again, you're gonna be able to pick a color or just select a color. Okay, so I like this quite brown reddish, let's say. So I'm just gonna keep that, okay. And now, I have no idea how this is called, but it looks like, like a little file. So if you click on this, you're gonna have lots of different options uh, for your text. You're gonna have all these different characters and you're gonna be able to play around with your text a little bit more, a little bit further. This is just your the size of your font, so we changed that already. And this is basically, so let me show you. So for example, let's say I'm going back to the line. So you can just press enter. And this is basically the space between uh, each line. A good rule of thumb is usually to just put the same as your font size. So for example, my font size is 80. I would just put it at 80. It's not here, so just put it here. And you know, it looks about right. But you can make it the way you want. If you want to make it really tight, you know, you can like 36 and we just make it really tight. Then you have the space between each letter. Um, so this is something a lot of people like to play with. You're gonna see that just with one font, you're gonna be able to play around with the fonts a little bit more by just playing, you know, with the spaces in between each letters and these kind of things. So at the moment it's at 75, zero is just basically the normal way. And you know, I like a little bit of space, but not too much. I'm just gonna put it at 25, for example. Now you have, you know, how tall your text is. So at the moment, it's normal, it's 100%. If I want to make something, you know, a little bit squeezed, I could just simply put like 50% and, you know, it would look squeezed. I'm just going to zoom in here. So that looks terrible. But, you know, sometimes it, it can be good to play with this as well. So I'm just going to put it back to 100. Or sometimes you can just select, you know, if you just want to make one uh, letter a little bit, you know, taller or whatever. Let's have a look and, you know, see it's like a little bit of a very stretch G. That's pretty much it. That's all I'm playing with on this. But what you can do as well, so if I select all my text, so you can make it, you know, a little bit stronger, like bold, or you can put it it's leak. And if you don't want it anymore, you just click back. Okay, so now I have, you know, a nice background. I've got some text. Okay, it doesn't look amazing, but this is just an example of, you know, what you can do. All right, guys, that's it. I feel like you now have enough to get yourself going to play with text and colors. So get used to this first. And then I will film a part two where we'll just go a little bit deeper into what you can do with Photoshop, like removing backgrounds and add a bit more fun to your post on Instagram or on social media in general. So don't forget to subscribe if you want to make sure to be notified for the part two. That's it.